hi, me again. I know it's been a while, but, and you might not be able to see me, I'm not sure, because of my hat. So, um, I wanted to share with you my greenhouse. I have built a greenhouse. It is built out of all reused, repurposed material. So, let's take a tour of the greenhouse. Okay, up we go. I'm going to take my hat off. Maybe you can see me a little bit better. I don't know. Okay. Woo! Different. Um, I, I don't know what size it is. I didn't make measurements or anything. So I don't really know what size it is. But I still have up here that I have to get blocked up. And a few holes and stuff that are you know, still, but it's already getting condensation on the windows. So, um, yeah, repurposed, recycled material, um, pallets <coughs> in the bottom uh, of the greenhouse. Um, so, the purpose of uh, the roof being slanted, the roof slants, this is the high side behind me. And then this is the low side. But if you'll see right out here is my IBC tote. My IBC tote is how I water my garden. And now it's how I water my greenhouse too. So, but the purpose is for rainwater catchment. So I will be putting a gutter up. Um, but right now the IBC is pretty full. And I have a piece of tin on this side over here as opposed to the um, fiberglassing here. And yeah, it's it's dirty because, you know, it's been a while, so it's been stacked up and, and held up for a while. I don't have a doorway done yet. Um, I have a doorway, but I don't have a door built yet. Um, but I built a greenhouse. <laughs> I built a greenhouse. And... Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and this window right here, I don't know if I can get far enough back so that you can see it, but that is all one window, and that is my inspiration for the greenhouse, was I got that window, <coughs> and it's been sitting here ever since we got here. It's one of the first things that I got when I moved to Missouri and when we started our homestead and it's been in storage ever since and I didn't want it to go you know I was like if I don't use it it's gonna, not going to be any good so um, mishmash no measurements I, I couldn't even begin to tell you what measurements are or anything like that so basically I started from the floor up I put a window in and I framed it and I put a window in and I framed it and I just did that all throughout the whole greenhouse um, in, in the construction and on some of the windows I have an overlay of the two windows because it wasn't quite tall enough for all three of them so that that here and over here as well where it's not quite tall enough for all three windows but I didn't have one window and I didn't have two windows so I had to do it with the three so the plan now from here is um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a door um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna make the door out of plastic or if I'm gonna make it out of some of my extra windows that I have um, and then I'm going to come in here with a water hose and I'm going to wash all the windows from the inside and some of the old, old, old wooden windows like these here, uh, some of the, the paint and everything needs to be stripped down and some of the caulking needs to be <coughs> redone on the, and the edges of it and stuff. So, um, and then I've got some air gaps and up above some of the windows I've got a gap I'm, I need to get filled and there's still a lot of work to do on it but I built a greenhouse 
I'm just like, this is the first time in my life I've ever done anything like this. And I'm really, really proud of myself. And, you know, homesteaders have challenges beyond belief. You wouldn't believe how many challenges homesteaders have. And I am learning that there's a different class of homesteaders. And I don't know where I fit into that but I really don't care because when I do something like this, I'm able to do something like this and the only thing that cost me was the hardware. Um, you know, I mean, that's all it cost me and my labor, of course, but that's what, you know, homesteading is, is, is labor and it's work intensive and, and it's always this and always doing that and project after project and so it's tough it's work i've said it millions of homesteaders say it all the time that being a homesteader is work and yeah it's work but it is so rewarding when you can stand back and you can say look what i did look what i did i built a greenhouse now from here i can expand my growing now um I can look out my big picture window here straight into my garden and it's a mess right now I know but I can sit here and look at my garden and be able to see where I can make improvements now for next year you know and I'm hoping I'm hoping to be able to start growing some flowers I really 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 love flowers and I want to grow flowers, you know, cut flowers, flowers. I love to grow sunflowers, of course. I think everybody knows that. So, yes, there'll be sunflowers out here next spring, uh, next year. But now with a greenhouse, I've got all this room that I can not only can I grow stuff in here, but I can get an earlier start on my seeds for next year whenever... <clears throat> You know start my seeds in February like I'm supposed to instead of waiting so still lots of work to do lots of improvements to do but this is an improvement this is an addition this I'm proud of this I'm very proud of this so uh, just I've been promising and saying I was gonna make a video so here's my video this is my greenhouse I built it Bye.